You look at this and you see my face. No. You look at this. It's an interpretation. And you see me. I'm Nella. And I'm Harry. And we're out here meeting black people slaying it in their lane. Because you know we do that. So, Harry. My G, how are you, man? I kind of want to ask you a question. Question. Tell me, what's your favorite cake? Um, can I tell you three of them? No, I just want to know why. I'm going to go with one uh, red velvet. Really? Yeah, red velvet. The right red velvet, though. Have you had red velvet cake the black way? Me love red velvet. It's, it's yes. sweet and rough. Right, so name me three black chefs, go. Ainsley. I think his surname's Harriet. Because he's the one who's got the eyes and he's like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to cook this today. <laughs> yeah, I know him. OK. Um, what I was trying to get at is that when it comes to naming white chefs, yes. you can name like a lot of people, like Jamie support. Oliver, Gordon Ramsay, him yeah, and yeah. Gina and so, all that stuff. So next question. Talk to me. Name me three black bakers. I don't even know a professional, well, world-renowned baker. I don't even think that. Me neither, bro. I'm not going to lie. For me to meet a black baker would mean a lot because it's like, right, how did you get that? So. We're going to be meeting a very special person. His name is Liam Charles. OK. He was on The Great British Bake Off. He's going to teach us how to bake, and it's going to be lit. And then you're going to take it home, and you're going to cook for your mama. I feel like he's going to inspire me. Right, Harry? Hey, Let's go see Liam. Let's go. I'm seeing things that I like, man. Chocolate, chocolate. Talk to me. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. So what are we going to be doing today? So today I'm making a chocolate cupcake yes. filled with your chocolate truffle in the middle, oh. chocolate buttercream. Oh, yeah. You've got, like, different piping nozzles. It's all about pressure. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, I like this guy. I like this guy. He's one of us. He's, He's one, one of us. He's one of our own. Oh, no, God. Look at that. And when you move your way upwards, it's kind of like Mr. Whippy. Listen, so we've learned a little technique already. A little piping. Do you know what we should do? Yeah. We should have a conversation okay, while that. trying them. So Liam, finally we get mm -hmm. to taste these amazing coffee cakes. Oh, they're so warm. They're warm. God damn it. Oh, no. You cheeky devil. No, Liam. Is it good? These are to die for. These are amazing. Thank oh, you. Come. But Liam, more importantly, mm -hmm. how did you even get into this? Yeah. So I started to bake when I was around 16. In my sixth form, I'll do like cake sales because my head of year at the time was super, super supportive. He was like, have you ever considered of doing like Great British Bake Off? That means you was really good then. I was steady, bro. I can't yeah, lie. I was steady. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So after that, like, it's been kind of mad since yeah. then. Do you know what I mean? So I host Bake Off the Professionals. A few books as well, which is fun. You got books? Yeah, I got two. Oh, well yeah, done, yeah, two. Man. Guardian columnist. Sorry, oh, sorry, 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 you know, stereotypically your own, mm. you know, it's kind of like, whoa. So it's like there's two roads, right? But I just realised I had to create, like, the Liam Charles lane. Do you know what I mean? He said he, I'm inspired by you... everybody. Step back. No, but it's true. Yeah, Liam, <laughs> <Love> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> I'm inspired by the wordplay you're using. And if you ever don't want to bake no more, get into rapping. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm right Yeah, yeah, educated black man that knows his stuff. So, you're a baker. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, in our community, we don't really see a lot of, like, celebrity, like, black bakers. Facts. Yeah? Yeah. So it's like, how do you... How do you navigate your way around that? The more years you do something, the more free reign you kind of get. If this going to be a representation of me and my culture, it has to be unapologetically yes. me. Yeah. It's fine, like, trying to appeal to the mass consumers, but if you always do that, they're not going to get the essence. Yeah. True. You're like paving the way for like more young British black um, yeah. bakers. I and mean, speaking about you being great about what you do, yeah. What challenges are you going to put me and Nella through today? So today yeah. I'll be teaching you how to make a buttercream, mm -hmm. uh, sponge sugar, mm -hmm. and chocolate shards. Wow. 
So once I've taught you all the skills here, yeah. you guys want to do a challenge where you have to decorate your own cake. Well, Liam, I can't wait to, you know, get in the kitchen and start. Whippy, whippy, whippy. Yeah. Period. Okay. Chocolate shards. It's melted chocolate, mm. refrigerated, marbled. Pop it in the fridge, mm. and once it becomes solid, you just smash it into different pieces. Is Marble one tray it. mine and is one tray yeah, his? Yeah, because we do a competition, yeah. isn't it? Competition. Exactly. So, Nella, yes. I'm going to give you the dark first. I want you to pour half the quantity of this bowl into that tray. Just keep on moving it around like that. Your melted milk and your melted white, just add a few dollops. Get your forks, drag that fork through the chocolate and create a marble effect. Nella knows what she's doing, look at that. <laughs> Don't mix it in too oh, much. You can't like marble it. You see, the thing is, you're a great baker, I'm sure you do really well. <laughs> He's about but, to drag you! But please, always wait till the end before you judge. The buttercream. Super simple, butter, ice and sugar, a bit of milk. I'm Yo. whipping it like butter work milk. Oh, get out. And the way you want to do now, you want to add your ice and sugar. This way it gets messy, oh, innit? Now you've got to keep on just going at it now. Is it supposed to stay on the thing? Because you added a lot of milk. Yeah, yeah so your consistency is not really that good. But it's not your fault, you're learning, you know what I mean? Look at my unit here, my, my station. And then look at Nellas. I'm not going to lie, I'm a messy chef, though, because you know, at the end of the day, my team's fine. Yeah, so, uh... Ah. Last task is to spun sugar. It's sugar, water, boil to like 165 degrees. What I want you guys to do, yeah, is to get some oil and grease the skin. This is so inappropriate now. This reminds me of when I'm in my bedroom on my own. I allowed that. <laughs> but this is the hot sugar. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, I see. Right. Do you want to have a go? Uh, tablespoon of sugar. Um, it's Liam, hot, though. I know what to do. Hey! I'm doing it really well, isn't it? Would you say the best you've ever seen? Wow. Yeah, let's just back up a little yeah. piece, just in yeah, case. Yeah, you lot are fake. You lot no, are fake. I didn't even back up for none of you, man. Who's no. cleaning this up? Um, you collect the sugar. Like, imagine that on top of a cake. That would look uh, mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now mm. it's the ultimate challenge. Oh, wow. Where all the skills I've taught you, you're going to put into one. This is going to be a battering. I'm very artistic, I'm very creative. Like, Nella, obviously, if you uh, have been watching, doesn't know really how to do the texture stuff like I did. Mine was near enough perfect. Harry's just a comedian, he's just a presenter, he's not really good with his hands. Liam actually said, very good, and he looked at Nella's with absolute disgust. He's not creative, I'm creative. So this is going to be a walk in the park, like Gig said. <laughs> Final challenge. Yes, we are here. You guys have 10 minutes to decorate your cake. <laughs> and your time starts now. So what I'm trying to do is um, just flatten it out. What I'm doing is oh, I'm making damn. it real messy, but I'm just trying to cover the whole of the cake. It muddy. Look at it. It's not doing what it needs to do. It's not looking good, be, is it? Be more gentle with the cake. You want to just like, apply it. A little boy sprinkle. You're getting there. It's becoming more smooth. Yeah. Nearly done. Nella's rushing. That's the problem. Okay, I'm going to make uh, a face. Did your cake vomit? Vomited at the state of your yeah. cake. This is my Nella cake. I've given her two chocolate eyes, one nice small chocolate nose, and a great white smile. So I think it's time for you to judge, Liam. Yes. We've got the Nella cake made by Harry. Yeah. I absolutely love your buttercream. I yeah. do like how you used your marble chocolate shards as Nella's hair. Yeah. And when it comes to the spring course, he's giving you a white smile, even though you don't have a white smile. But it's okay. No, 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 not your teeth. I told me, no. You've got to pick your words wisely, <laughs> man. No, I'm not talking about your teeth. I'm talking about it. You're killing yourself, Liam. You're killing yourself. You look at this and you see my face. No. You look at this. It's an interpretation. And you see me. Smile for me. OK, maybe not. OK, we've got Nella's cake. Very in trend. Great marble effects of your chocolate. It's very neat. 
Nella, for me, you are today's champion. Yes. You absolutely smashed it. Thank you, Liam. Why are you putting so much sourness? I don't want to smile because just in case you see my teeth. No, it's the yellow from your thing that's bouncing. Okay. Thank you, Liam, as well, for your for your help. You've really Pleasure. taught us a lot. I've learned a lot today. No, honestly, yeah. I've learned so much. Okay. Um, you're an amazing baker, and Thank you, um, yeah. keep doing your thing. First things first, Nella, congratulations. Muchas gracias. Um, you are the winner, but deserved winner. Upon reflection, I think mm -hmm. today was good. So, Nella, talk to me. What do you mm. think yeah, it's going to take to have more black people taking part in what we just did today? Like, black bakers need to become more hyper-visible on YouTube, on TV shows, on all these different baking shows. I feel like we are the, the new leading figures. Well, I'll say you are. They call me Ornella. Oh, in the last. Chef Ornella. What do they call me? Huh? Hmm? I'm a sure. Huh? That's it, French for Harry. Do you know what, Nella? <laughs> See you later. Go on. I'm sorry, but you've no, been dragging me all season. What's up? Because when it's time to <laughs> post up, you're running out. <laughs>